Satrix Resi 10, and that is the ETF which tracks the largest SA listed resource shares, and it's issued by Satrix Sunlum. Indeed, so that's the underlight, underwriting um, provider of the ETF. And in that instance, they would be the agency responsible for aggregating and purchasing the underlying securities. Pointing out there, it's up 47% in the last year. But Narina, tell us about the Satrix team and how um. this thing's put together and whether there's any secret sauce going on <laughs> the, under the hood. Not very secret at all, I'm afraid, um, mm -hmm. as most ETFs. Um, this one is, is really the obvious one that comes to mind when one says, I want to buy exposure to the resources sector. It tracks the FTSE JSE Resources 10 Index. 10, so that's not 10, very many stocks. Just 10 stocks. And when you see how it's made up, you're going to be even more horrified. Because in <laughs> fact, just three stocks make up 80. Well, I'm, incredibly, oh. I'm incredibly excited about the 47% <laughs> increase. That's in historic. That's historic. So, you know, if you were in it, which you weren't, then you would have had that performance. Now it actually means absolutely nothing to you because we've got to say what about the future. Sorry, in I terms can't get of over this. the 80%. Which are the three <laughs> stocks that make up the 80%? Well, let's guess BHP Billiton, Anglo American, Sassel. Yeah. That makes up 80%. So if you're going to be buying this ETF, mm. you're Basically really buying, those three, you're buying those three stocks. So you better be quite sure about your view on those three particular stocks. And clearly, when we talk anything resources or commodities, also be pretty clear about your Rand dollar view. Because like it or not, it is going to affect it f uh, dramatically. And I think that makes that 47% even more pronounced, yes. considering that a, we had a year in which the Rand strengthened well, so much. Well, I want to drill into your view on Sassel. And I want to drill into your view on the Rand dollar price, mm. considering those are the two Absolutely. big issues. Absolutely. Yes, and especially, I mean, um, obviously the oil price for Sassel, but the oil price also for BHP Billiton. And, and as I mentioned, I think that there is a bit of a cap on the oil price. I don't really see it sustainably rising above 58 or even $60, $60 a barrel. So, so for this me, is we're the oil price in your opinion. From the, from the commodity price, so from the oil price point of view. The Rand dollar is a different story altogether. And I think we're probably close to the bottom, in other words, the strongest level in terms mm. of the Rand dollar. That's my view. It's my opinion, and I think it's going to come from two sides. It will be a case of the RAND fundamentally weakening during the course of the year because of domestic factors, but the dollar also strengthening because of US specific factors. Mm. So, from that perspective, for me, th this is very much a, a RAND hedge play that we're looking at when we talk about it. Yes. Well, I'm interested <laughs> to see what it looks like. I guess it'll really just look at the way you'd expect where the runoff, the 2014, there you go, 2015 beginning to look very dire and then 2016 comes right now it's sort of going <laughs> a little bit sideways we know Billiton has done that I don't know though because Billiton has all of its own dramatic dynamics it's Absolutely. got that runoff with a mine disaster in, in Latin Brazil, America exactly. huge fine but it's yeah. sort of got a lift and then, I don't know, I mean, you put them all together, Anglo-American, I suppose that's a recovery story in but a way. But it's had a lot of that recovery. So you've yeah. got to ask yourself how much more from year on out. So for me, the Satrix Resi is really something where I think you're taking very concentrated exposure, very stock specific risk. And for me, not really sort of true to the nature of an exchange traded fund, mm -hmm. which is really mm -hmm. about getting that diversification. I did ask earlier that there's no secret source in this. So in yes. other words, this is a market capitalization weighted thing without yes. any adjustments for volatility or Nothing. for tradability the, the or anything like that. Just the exactly. in the resource Free pay. float adjusted. That's the only adjustment. But in the case of those three, really very little. And it's one of the reasons why some of the other resources stocks like the mining companies and even things like, like Kumba and so mm. on actually don't feature much because they've got much lower free float. So no significant oh, platinum oh, exposure, nothing there? Just nothing. A bit. Well, very little, very little. Mm. Whatever is left sort of in the last 20, yeah. 20%. So for me, the Satrix Resi 10 at this stage, not, not hot. Not hot. Paul? Now, I'm also going to give it a pass. I wouldn't specifically be going there. And I was also struck that Sassol's trading up recently wasn't all that marvelous.